Hello and welcome to Bleeding Tree Gaming. Uh, my name's Amy aka Warp Fiend and in this video I'm going to talk about brush control. Now I'm often complimented on my brush control and people ask me how they can develop these skills. Now due to kind of the limitations of social media posts I generally end up saying practice is the main way. But I did want to do a video where I kind of expand on it a bit because it's more than just practice. You definitely need to get those thousand hours in, although obviously some people um, who have developed fine motor skills in another field, like um, a lot of painters or musicians for example, it is something that you do need to put in the time to um, train your fingers to control the brush. It's not just about mindlessly painting though, um, you need to pay attention to your brushwork. You need to be mindful of any time you make a mistake. Um, when you make one, try and think about why did I make that mistake? What caused it? So here's some of the common reasons. Were you working against the natural flow of your muscles? You really need to pay attention to how those fine muscles in your fingers uh, react to moving the brush around. You need to train it and like any muscle when you train it um, you need to be using the right movements. Um, obviously it's always easiest to do a straight line by pulling the brush towards you than pushing it away but there's a lot of other things like this that you can only notice from just paying close attention to how you paint. It's also super helpful to make sure that your hands are properly braced against each other. This will help you counterbalance any shakiness uh, that comes from your hands as the, the model and the brush are both going to be shaking at the same pace that way. This should counterbalance most shaking in your hands. Another reason is often did you have too much, not enough or the wrong consistency paint on your brush? If the paint isn't flowing correctly, perfect brush control won't help you. Uh, keep your paint to a workable consistency and if it starts to dry out, replace it. Was your brush the best for the job you're doing and brought to a sharp point? The point is more important than having a tiny brush with few bristles. When you develop your brush control, you can paint tiny details with a larger brush because you can control exactly how much of it is touching a model. There are lots of reasons why we make mistakes like these that could all be their own videos. Um, I really recommend checking out uh, Tommy Soul's Art Of book. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. He has a really unique approach to teaching painting that's, that's really eye-opening. But basically, achieving better control over your brush strokes requires constant observation of your actions over and over again until you can internalize every single error that you make and then how to not make it. Another thing I've struggled with for many years was uh, maintaining a high quality from start to end of a paint job. You know, often I'd uh, get really enthusiastic and paint a little section and go, oh my God, like, ah, oh, this looks so cool. And then as I'd have to fill in that same bit over the entire model, I'd lose enthusiasm, it'd get rote, it'd get sloppy, um, I'm still very much suffer with this and it's still a struggle. Uh, but the thing is, when you're rushing, you take shortcuts and you lose quality. Uh, the trick is to really try and keep in that headspace, which can be difficult, incredibly difficult. Um, in a lot of ways, it's like meditation. You really need to uh, keep yourself from getting anxious or distracted because the harder you're going to find it to paint in that case. So a lot of learning brush control is a feedback loop of observing and altering with a proper mindset where you're fully engaged with the piece you're working on. But are there exercises you can practice? I'd say the best one is definitely painting, but the trick is to train those fine motor skills in your fingers and if you've ever played a stringed instrument you'll know scales and similar exercises that can train your fingers. So here's a few I've come up with for a brush. And I don't say you'd have to practice these every day, but they might be useful to just 
when you've got your paint out you can just practice a little bit get your hand in shape before you take on those fine details so the first one is really simple it's just practicing your grip on your brush and I use as you can see a thumb and two fingers you might want to take a different one I know people who paint left-handed often have quite a different pose but the point is you need three digits um, properly supporting now keeping all your other muscles still all the muscles in your wrist and your lower arm um, just literally rotate those three digits that you're holding the brush in try and get some nice smooth fluid mo movements just kind of practice moving them without moving the rest of your arm the smaller and more delicate the movements you can do the better and that will just help you achieve an economy of movement where you know you're making as little movement as possible another simple one is to just get a plain piece of paper and just practice uh, drawing some lines across it and try and get these smaller and smaller every time you can also do this with like uh, swoops to practice those curves as well as little circles obviously painting on paper is a lot different to painting on a model um, just the absorbency of paper to the paint you're using changes its properties a lot but um, it's it's all the same skills that it teaches you another exercise that I'm quite fond of is just loading up your brush with paint and running it as close as possible to the surface of the piece of paper without touching it and you can try other things like you can try touching it in kind of dash formations or you can try just not touching the paper the whole way across and you want to develop the kind of control where you can literally run it just the tiniest little fraction above the surface of the paper without ever touching it regularly doing these when you're painting um, can help you develop control um, it's something that I do to just kind of fine-tune myself you know I'm doing some painting I might notice my brush strokes are a little messy I might just practice a few of these to try and just kind of narrow in on that fine sense of control um, I would say these are no substitute for actually painting minis over and over until you understand how to handle every nuance of models that exist in 3d space as with all fine motor control and exercise in general you are training your body to perform how you want it and it takes regular work i very much hope people have found this interesting uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to bleeding tree gaming and i will see you in the next one bye bye